Welcome in to another Leeward Islands career mode episode. Today we have got the last three games of the 20 over trophy before the knockouts. We're in a very strong position in this competition. We've played pretty well. So we played two games offline and I thought we played them both pretty well. So we had that disappointing defeat in the last episode against Barbados. We had two wins against Guana and Jamaica, but we bounced back. We had two narrow wins against Trinidad and Tobago and Barbados. We're bowled out for 146 uh, with Murray 53 top scoring. And we had to really fight hard for that score. Allen was good, 3 for 15. 2 for 28 for Isaac. 2 for twenty, uh, two for 33 for Samaru. 2 for 39 for Seals. I thought they bowled quite good. They were just relentless enough to bowl us all out. But we were just a little bit better with the ball on the day. Uh, we were um, had them 51 for 4. And then they scr keep scrambling. Um, Allen, 33. Uh, Saya Abhlaji uh, did a reasonable good job, 42. But yeah, there's not enough innings of substance from the other batsmen. And we were able to take advantage. 3 for 29 for Simmons. 2 for 24 for Rutherford. 2 for 20 for Afridi. And it was just a good all-round effort to get us over the line. And then it was the same against Barbados. We struggled a wee bit against Barbados as well with the bat. Uh, contributions from Rizwan, finally getting a score of 46 of 43. John, 36, and Murray, 43. I thought Boyce was quite good, 2 for 22. 1 for 25 for Mitchell, Graves, number 21. Everything else was a wee bit expensive, but we scrambled a score and it was enough in the end. We bowled them out for 131. Um, Carey having a great day, 4 for 17. Um, a splendid spell through the middle. Got the wickers of Smith, Graves, Cornwall. And more importantly, he got the wicket of Horace at a very important time. But a very good win. Puts us in a good, solid spot on this 20-over trophy board. Um, we've played two games less than Barbados. If we can win just maybe one more game, we probably will get top spot. And um, the knockout stage will see us um, having two bites at the cherry, which we really want to do. Good to see Bartholomew back today. We will put Bartholomew on the side to strengthen up the bowling. Give us um, a full array of bowling. Uh, Samuels will get another opportunity to potentially perform. I will actually go with Simmons. We just need a little bit of batting. Yeah, so Samuels didn't do too badly in the last game, but it's just an opportunity just to give um, guys a wee bit of a go here. Winwood Islands are in six. They'll be looking to spoil the party. Uh, they've got um, a notable name, Pelton Paul. Uh, Pelton is someone that I'm really wanting to build up. And I've got um, Sebastian um, Hooper as well, who's played a little bit for um, our Leeward Islands 50 over and uh, four day squads. Just want to be relatively accurate. Afridi has been in good form, and he will continue that good form. The wicket of Nelson. Nelson will depart for four. Brown, Brown and Afridi. Make a good re um, appearing here, and that is Brown out for 13. Halton Paul has just been done by a scintillating delivery. And they are 17 for 3. Very early on. We're just looking to strike enough. 43, 45 for 3 after 6. And we'll bring in pretty much Rutherford. And we'll be looking to tidy this up a wee bit. Just keep the um, run rate in check. And we're very capable of doing that. We've got a um, very, very good mindset here of just putting... The screws on if we can. Want the extra man outs on the boundary, I think. Would be a good idea for a start off. Simmons went for a little bit. Bring in the inform carry with the ball. Four for seventeen. Very nice spell in that last game. And he's continuing this good form. The um it's been great value, um, carry. Very cheap. Um got him in because of budget constraints, and he's fulfilled a really good role. What do you say? He's gone for thirty-four. He's just going to provide some handy overs of spin. Chase. Chase is trapped LBW. He'll go for nine. We need to get wicked of uh, Laurie a lug. So we'll have to get out. Uh, Bartholomew will come in. Cartland. Try and ease him back into the um into the team. Two for, tw two for 20 of two overs for Kerry. We'll rotate Simmons back in. He was very expensive in his first. And he was expensive in that one as well. That's not ideal. We have to trust Kerry for another over, and then we'll bring our main seamers back. It's a good delivery for Kerry, and he strikes again. He's just in a rich vein of form with the ball. Got the important wicket of lug. 
Colin Moore hasn't bowled too badly. Three overs done for 21. Brown into the attack now. Three overs remaining. Bartholomew will bowl out. It's not been not a bad effort from Bartholomew. He will strike. Savory gone. He's gone for 19. Freedy to bowl the last. And he's gone for a wee bit of stick in that over. 6 4 4 at 4. He's gone for a crazy amount in that over. 19. And 188 for 7. That is a very good competitive score for the Windward Islands. And they're going to have to be on top of their game to chase this. Gone. Gone for next to nothing. Cooper now. Be a day for Cooper. It's a lovely shot. Rizwan. Really need someone to kick this game into gear for the Leeward Islands. 15 for 1 after 3. Run rate already above 10. I don't want that to hover over 10 for too long. And I think uh, Rizwan is going to be out. Now he's been dropped. You can't be dropping a classy um, overseas player as talented as Rizwan. It's a key moment in the game, perhaps. And yeah, just the momentum that the Leeward Islands have taken from this over now has just swung the game a wee bit. This is a crazy over now. Joseph will be really annoyed with that drop. And that is just taking full advantage of a over. That is 4, 7, 11, 17, 21, 22, 26 off the over. Momentum with Leeward um, Islands. Now 17, Rizwan. He's pretty slow off the mark here. Them to up the gears. Important day for Cooper as well. He needs to get it um, going as well. 49 for 1 after 6. 140 at uh, 10 and over exactly. And that's going to be out. Cooper is out to Otley. For 30. Inform um, Anthony John in. This one is... Very average season continues. He's gone for 17. Carson Murray in. 54 for 3. Oh, he's been dropped. Murray. Oh, he's been sublime and the pressure is really ramping up. Not much between these six sides. They are very, very competitive. We really want top qualifier spots so we play potentially Barbados at home. That qualifier. Make the finals. See if we can go back to back. Run rate's definitely going to have to pick up in the last lot of overs. 113 at 11.3 uh, at and over. That is going to be steep. going to start this over, hopefully. That's a really well timed sweep. 78 for 3. Going to have to take all bowlers on. Great start here. He's got enough on that. He just gets it past the diving effort. Didn't they bowl quite well, the Windmore Islands? They batted quite well. Uh, they keep trying to attack the bowling and it paid off. And it's just a lot of pressure on the Leeward Islands. And they come through this game. 91 at 11.3 still. It's still game on. He's got that cleared for six. It's a big crucial spell here for um, Brown. He's conceded a no ball. Can't really be doing that. Just one big over will just bring it the run rate right down. I've seen the um, John uh, Brown over to be targeted and we've taken full advantage. Got the run rate down to 10.2 and over. Is controllable again. Oh, that's a beautiful delivery. Murray's been stumped. Edward strikes. 22 off 17. Fitzgerald Joseph in with a reasonable average. And that man, John, is going to have to be the mainstay of the innings. It's a 
55 at 10.8 and over. The Bowling Brown again, they're trusting him. Just in the process. Not a great start to the over. Is this a costly mistake from the Lenore Island? Is Brown, is there a better option than Brown in the team? I think it's just something that we can target. Oh, he's bowled not too badly in this over. No, I'm saying that he's just gone for another boundary. And that's 50 for John. 134 for 4 after 15. We got a 10 off that one. Was solid over, so it's got to keep in, keep in touch in this game. He's got a bit of an edge on that one. Seven off it so far. Joseph needs to find the rope, and he has. He's hit a six too. That's a really good over in the end for Leeward Island. 147 before after 16. 42 off 24 required. Trooper bowled well in that first spell of his. It's going to have to be exceptionally good towards the back end here. He's going down to the wire. John has just shown his class. Again, he's just been really clinical. 29 off 18. Trusting Brown again is a huge call. He's just under pressure again. That's the boundary of the first delivery. Just the right call. Oh, that is just not good bowling. Oh, he's just conceded three boundaries and four deliveries. Brown, he is under immense pressure. He's got the wicket to John, though. He's done the job. And that is a big strike. John out for 84 or 42. A phenomenal innings. 15 required. That is going to be out. Might be falling short in this game. Need to find the rope. 14 off 6. Round about the last 11 off 3. 11 off 2. It looks like the Windward Islands are going to spoil the party here. Here they are. So we got um, pretty close. We just weren't quite good enough with the ball. The key wiggle was John. John was looking good. And the innings we end at 178 for 8. A 10, win, 10 run run for the Windward Islands. We're definitely going to get one of those top spots, I think. I don't think we can be surpassed by Gowana. Um, we can be surpassed by, I believe, Trinidad and Tobago. So we've got to be careful of that. We've got to make sure we win at least one of these three games. Since meant that spot. Gowana's not going to be easy. Sardazai is back. He is immediately just raced into the team. Get him opening up with a 3D. Probably going to um, keep that team relatively the same. Trust the process. Even though Rizwan has not been good this season, he's had two score. He's had one score. It's still a man that could really kick go, uh, really get going for us. So, really happy to go with this team. Skulana, they've got a good order. Um, Hope Hitmeyer, um, Sizaba, um, was really good against us. Kimo Paul, Anthony's. Uh, shoot, they've got some good players. Uh, so we will bat first on the surface. We'll try and get some runs on the board. And we'll see if he can defend. So after that positive start, it's a boundary. He's out for naught. He's run carry out. That's a big. It's not a good run. It's a boundary. 15 for 1. 6. Lovely shot. Six for three, just in a lot of little bit of hurt here at the moment. Momentum is key going into finals. Like we are really battling here. Thirty-two for four. Thirty-two for five. This is a good display from the third place Guana side. Oh, this is disastrous. We are really, really struggling now. Thirty-six for six. This is 
crazy. This is just madness. We are seven down in the um, fourth over. Gonna have to try and melt something together. Sardazai. Zara innings this. Just gonna have to bat some time. 52 for eight. What a disastrous batting performance. over still to bat only two wickets in hand can we scramble 100 and try to um, bowl them out for next to nothing it's going to come down to that last game if we, we are going to get to the knockouts it's just how many games we play in the knockouts i'd rather just go to that qualifier uh at least um, with some sort of um form it's pretty much great so as i batting relatively well just going to Try and bat as many of these overs out as possible. That's out. Easy outs. 76 for 9. Lovely shot from Brown. It's 81 for 9 now. 82. Pretty sad looking card, really. Still got plenty of overs to bat. It's just madness that we battled any of them out. 32, 93 all out, and a great bowling display from the Guana side. 3 for 27 for McAllister, 3 for 31 for Paul, and 2 for 19 for Sizzava. It was just not a good um, batting display at all. We're going to have to be quite aggressive with the ball. Going to have to try and pitch it up, get some early wickets. Sardazai is just going to have to look to get in some form. <laughs> going to be a pummeling and a half this one it's just a wee lesson not to take anyone sort of lightly we try to get off to a blitzing start and it just backfired and they just played that with confidence knowing they weren't chasing too much and that innings is over hope and hitmeyer destroying us just boundaries all over the ground to make her head beat in barbados so we will qualify at least in first place by the looks but yeah we're in first place definitely unless uh trinidad and tobago win all three of their games tie with us Jamaica is our next game just need to get some form uh, going into that last round uh, really uh, we just need to win this game make sure we finish in that top position we will I think we will chase in this innings I think it's not a bad idea I think we just set the example try to put Jamaica under somewhat of somewhat of pressure the delivery on King King will be out as I, he'll be replaced by Brown. Constant changes will be the key here. Lewis is out too. 26 for 2. Bartholomew. Good bowling attack. This is the key with the Leeward Islands. Uh, 20 over franchise. Bowling attacks. A wee bit of depth to it. Bartholomew. Powell. 4 for 3 for 4. Bartholomew's going to get Jangu as well. 49 for 5. This is much better. And we'll bring in Kiri. Kiri, who has had good moments on the campaign. 1 over 12. We had to rotate him out. Rutherford in. Seventy for 6 to make her. That they're not really um, batting all too well here. Fredericks is hung in there. 3 for 24 for a Bartholomew. Sardazai. Needs Sardazai to get in some lot of form. So he's one of our key men. So delivery to Fredericks, 92 for 7. Hundred and seventeen for 7. Freddy and Brown and Bowl there allotted overs out. Is this going to be enough for Jamaica? I think they're going to be well under par, but you just never know. The pitch is sort of not the best at times here in uh, the West Indies, especially at the Leeward Islands. A wee bit for the, bat, uh, for the bowlers. Springer's gone. 24. Last over, and we're bowled. Jamaica out for 136. So a decent bowling performance. Bartholomew, 3 for 24. Freddie, 3 for 24 as well. 
both very, very tight in their bowling. Two for 22 for Brown, one for 21 for Rutherford. Kerry and Sardis, I wee bit expensive as they are at the end of the day. Yeah, just want to finish the um, round robin reasonably strong, get some players into form, and get that top spot where we'll probably be likely taking on Barbados in that qualifier in that next episode. Be a cracking game. Ah, uh, gonna definitely in that qualifier. So whether or not we get the home one. Just even out of form though, like we've hit a bit of a rut. Um, big time. Cooper. Maximum. He needs to desperately get some runs. He's such a talent. Sebastian Cooper, and he's just thrown that away again. But he really disappointed with Cooper. I thought he could have done a lot more at the club. He's played um, a wee bit around the world. Yeah, he's 1,000 runs at 29. It's not a bad average or anything, but his average has really plummeted. 40 for 3. I think John's going to be a key man in that um, not playoff series. 51 for 3. Make that 51 for 4 now, so we are teetering. What an episode it would be to lose 3 times. If we bat the overs out, we should get there. Murray, I think he's being dropped there. Yeah, just he's a bit disappointed. <laughs> so I, he's out now, though. And 80 for 5. Rutherford's going to have to do a bit of batting now. Oh, he's making a bit of a hash of the chase. 88 for 5. Yeah, we are falling apart here. Bartholomew. He's gone too, so Jamaica are getting amongst it now. 88 for 7. Sardazai got a score in the last game. Can he do it again? Even Ireland's batting just falling apart. 38 for 5.4 required. We need a partnership. We need to drag this game right to the end. Top order should have been. <laughs> He's playing a bit of a gym here. Giving us, giving us a chance. Has he got enough on that? I think he's gone. He will be out. Out for 20 off 10. 115 for 8. And that is a very lucky stroke from Afridi. Will he Afridi gets that away? 14 to win. I think Rutherford's um, found the man too, so we're going to need 14 from the last partnership. It's, it's gone down right to the wire. And we've lost to Jamaica by six runs, so a disastrous um, episode. We do finish ahead of um, some teams here. So we get the home playoff. We will find off, uh, find out very shortly. So we do. We've got qualifier one against Guana. So 20 over trophy. is very tightly fought in the end. Look at that. Any team could have made that, really. Like, we won six and lost four. That's a big game, Guana. Like, at least we've made the qualifier on night one. So got Tainan back from international duty. That's going to definitely strengthen up our team. But for now... Smash the like button and share with a friend, and we'll see you next time for more Leeward Islands Cricket.